So the planet of love is on the move? Yes, Venus, the planet of love. And we call it the lesser benefic coast. No matter where Venus goes, it brings good stuff. Not as good as Jupiter, but there's never really a bad transit of Venus. So mm -hmm. um, it's going from the sign of Scorpio, where it's been, um, into the sign of Sagittarius. And so I thought you need to know where you can expect good things to occur in your life. Something to look forward to instead I heard of that. the bad news that I usually deliver. So for Libras, it's in their third house of day-to-day -day living. So the pace of their day-to-day -day living picks up. They either get something new that they have to incorporate into their day-to-day -day living or they get a chance to take some sort of class or take some sort of business and pleasure trip together where they can learn something useful and have a good time which is very cool. For Scorpios, it's in their second house of money, and it's like God is turning on the money faucet for them for the next 30 days or so. And this is through their earned income rather than unearned income. For Sagittarians, Venus in their sign comes every 14 months or so, and it means new starts on the love, um, the wheel of, of love is what it is. And um, if you're single, you'll attract someone. If you're married, your marriage goes well. But it's, it's, it, it really has to do with the Sagittarian feeling very, very good about themselves and getting lots and attracting what it is that they say that they want. For Capricorns, not so much time to take a step back. For Capricorns, this is the end um, of a 14-month cycle of love, and, and, and so they're going to find that they give a little more than they get, and it's not quite up front. And Capricorns, what you hide from other people, you hide from yourself. So be careful with that stuff, because nothing stays a secret very long anymore. Um, for Aquarians, it's in their 11th house of hopes, wishes, goals, and objectives. And they get to reach for a long-standing group to have the group help the, the Aquarian get what it is the Aquarian wants. And it's more of the Aquarian's male friends rather than their female friends um, will help them reach that brass ring. For Pisces, 10th house of career and public standing. And this is time for a promotion, an attaboy, an increase in responsibilities. The powers that be are observing what the Pisces is doing and liking what it is that they see. So it's professional success for them. For Aries, legal matters, educational matters, important matters at a distance go very, very well for Aries. And Aries might get the chance to reach a broader audience one way or another, hopefully with their words uh, rather than infamy, but they get to reach a, a larger group. For Taurus, it's in the eighth house of other people's resources flowing their way, um, which is important for Pat doing Christmas wish because exactly. it means money coming into the coffers. And it means that um, other people are more than unusually willing to help you in a financial matter to get what it is that you want. And also, there's, there's something new comes to light that changes things for the Taurus in some way and helps them heal, which is a very cool thing in mm -hmm. and of itself. For Geminis... Like Donald Trump, Venus is in their seventh house of partners, and they find they're attracting more partners than usual. Uh, people are more than willing to help them out, and older people play a bigger role in the Gemini's life. And it's actually a good time for favorable press, which is something Donald Trump could certainly he use. Usually, <laughs> yes. For Cancers, it's in their sixth house of work and responsibilities. And Cancers, um, they either get a better job, not the promotion, not the corner office, but something happens that makes their job easier or their work environment is easier. And also for cancers, there's some sort of health issue that they're afraid to deal with. And i got to tell you, it is not as bad as you are afraid of. And, and you need to take action on it because if you deal with it now, you'll have a better outcome than if you stick your head in the sand and, and delay and wait. For Leos, you say what is happening with Leos. Yes. This is Leos' favorite time of year. Every 14 months or so, Leo just feels like they are on top of the world, um, and they're very creative, amusements, pleasures, love, anything that has to do with the creative and fun thing is really on store for the Leo. And they have not felt that for the last last month or so. They have not really felt the love. Um, but somehow, the love comes back into the Leo's life, and they shine like the sun um, as the result of it. For Virgos, fourth house of home. They need to straighten out something at home, clean up their home, beautify their home, fix up their home. And to Virgos, I say, don't start painting without a plan because every wall you touch, the wall next to it looks dingy. And that's the kind of thing where one thing leads to another. But for the next four weeks or so with Venus and Sage, Virgos are going to be working on their home and their foundation. So um, that's tomorrow's news today for the 12 signs of the Zodiac with Venus, the planet of love, going into the sign of Sagittarius. Sounded pretty good. We'll I take it. It's a pretty good time. Yeah. Yay. See you next week. Always a pleasure.